Hey, what's going on? My name is Marcos and I'm a director of photography based out of the San Francisco Bay Area. So this is my production van. I've had it for about two years, ever since the pandemic started. And it's taken me a while to customize it. Uh, this is a 2014 Mercedes Sprinter van, 2500 center roof crew van. That's as much as you need to know. And I got it because I was tired of compromising as to how much gear I could bring on my productions. Uh, when you have a car like I did, you, there's only so much things you can pack into it. So that was the primary reason behind getting a van. Also, you know, I got to give a shout out to people who've uh, made videos and inspired me. I've gotten a lot of great ideas and I thought I would share what I have so far. And I know there's still a long ways for me to go to get it exactly where I want it. But I believe this is a good start. So let's go look at it. So we're going to start here in the back. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is this slick lock. This is just extra security in case someone wants to break in. Uh, they get, you know, go through the front, hit unlock, and then now they have access to the van. But this is just another barrier to entry. And I do go into some sketchy places, so it's good to have this extra security. I have these installed the back and then the side. There you go, it comes off. And here's the back. Uh, so this is the latest installment, the ramp, which is really easy. I had this custom uh, made uh, from, I believe it's Handy Ramps. And they make them 36, but I had them cut it down to 30 inches wide. That way I could fit it in here. And also I, did, I didn't need that extra width. So quickly pull it out. See that? Very easy. And I can wheel out my... Uh, mag liner and my hamper very easy uh, so you know I think this by far is the best investment I made it just made my job easier when I'm trying to load quickly into a building uh, you know I can throw all my stuff into the mag liner and will it out and I'm ready to go ready to go to start uh, getting all my stuff in and as opposed to having a small car and trying to get everything out of there it's it's a pain in the butt so this just simplifies my life these are rolling stands a lot of my stuff is tied up with these uh like bungee cords i grab them from home depot or lowe's and you just strap them down you don't want this moving around anywhere same thing with the with this mag liner i put sandbags down here to stop them from moving but also these these straps uh, sometimes I use ratchet straps, which is way safer than these, stronger. I have a stinger here. As you can see here on the side doors, I put uh, these, these rails because I don't want something accidentally hitting the window and breaking them. So it's, it's, I put this on all the, the side, uh, the windows, because this is a crew van. It's not a full cargo van. So I'll, I'll show you the other side. Um, sometimes I, st I hang stuff here and the first thing I want to do is take out these floppies because these are great for quickly blocking out a window, blocking out light. I love it. It's one of the reasons I got the van. I just, I knew I wanted floppies and they didn't fit in my car or my SUV because they're too wide and, you know, I probably need to get more because it's just saved so much time to Lock out window in no time, right? Uh, and then I got these little, I don't know what you call them. It's just little metal pieces from Home Depot and that's where they hang from. And so they're hanging from here. And then uh, these, these, these metal cabinets, I found them used on Craigslist. I had bought them, I was gonna buy them new from American Van, but then uh, my wife, she found them used and I was like, oh, great deal and I installed them myself and this is where I put all my stuff I got lights in here uh, these crates with wires and stingers and and grip stuff oh and in here I want I have the aperture 60x and the 60d these are great for, for adding ambient light or adding a hair light or sometimes I use, use them as a practical in the background stingers um, I got some suction caps in here but this is something I'm very proud of I made this mannequin head this is uh, like a Halloween mask and this is a, a wig holder and it has a hole in the bottom so I set up a stand and I put this on top and this is my stand in I've found that this saves me a lot of time especially with when you're working with a small crew 
that's a person that you're wasting if you're there's just sitting there so i pop this up and that's my stand-in and so <laughs> i found a lot of people take selfies with this because they're like this is so crazy but you know it's a really good investment in uh, money and time so lights in here and i can lock that up to make it safer up there i have tubes and uh, different lights speed rail up here for my dana dolly actually i'm gonna pull this one out just so i can show you very easy just undo this i'm gonna get this out of the way so i can show you more stuff That's easy, right? And usually I put all my camera equipment in here, like my cases, and I quickly load in. So let me just put it on the side. You can walk in here. Up here, I got a bunch of um, different rags, six by six, half soft frost, full grid, green screen, duvetine, uh, silk stuff, and just tabletops just to block out windows, that kind of stuff. And usually this is where I put more cases. I usually have it pretty filled up with stuff. Audio equipment. Um, in here I got dimmers, map box, you know, just random stuff in these drawers. Uh, miscellaneous grip stuff, tools, lights. I got a teleprompter in here, uh, clapboard. And down here, as you can see, I, I cut out this uh, plywood just to, uh, you know stop the the light stands from falling over uh i got some c stands in here some boom arms or frames uh just you know little light stand for i don't know a small light and yeah and on this side this same thing i have c stands uh i'm trying to eventually get that back door with the metal frame so i can hang c stands on the doors i've seen grip fans do that and I want to do that, but for now, this is my temporary solution. Just break apart the C-stands and just throw them in here. All right, and if you look up here, I got these lights installed for when you're shooting at night uh, or packing up at night, I should say, and you can get full visibility and pack up your stuff nicely before you get home, right? I made also this from plywood and bolted it to the frame of this, this metal cabinet. And I have a bunch of stands in here. The baby stands for the Dana Dolly. Uh, actually, this is my favorite uh, stand right here. I think I'm gonna buy more of these. This is uh, Matthew's baby beefy stand, triple ricer. I really love this because it's easier to carry around in a cart, at, you know, as opposed to C stands. Uh, I probably might just get more of these because they're super robust and and easy to load in uh gaffer's tape clamps miscellaneous stuff that i use for productions and make sure you like tie everything down nicely because once you're driving everything starts rattling if it's not nicely you know tightened up um i hate when i'm driving and you hear a bunch of rattling and it just scares you like oh there's something something's falling right so make sure you get these uh i get these from home depot you can adjust the tension on these metal and i just make sure it's really tight not moving around and here's a hamper i put this on the back because i found that whatever's closest to the ramp is what i end up using the most and so for that the i, li I like having the mag liner because i can throw my camera stuff up there and use it as a tabletop to um, put together my camera, laptop, whatever I need to do. And here's where I'll throw in Apple boxes, lights. Uh, what do I have in here? Tripods, stuff like that. And, you know, I can also do a couple trips. If I want to throw in C stands or stands in here, I can do that. And uh, up here, I got this for, this from American Van. Get a bunch of this stuff just to throw stuff in here. My V mount charger, miscellaneous uh, equipment for my camera. Oh, I also have uh, in here like these soft boxes I just throw in here, bags. Uh, in here, I have the Nova Apple boxes, and I have a, uh, again, I'm tying this down with these rapid strap, this ratchet straps from Home Depot just to keep it from moving, but also have this light. This is a Nova, 
and some sandbags over here just to stop everything from rattling back and forth um this is not the best i would suggest you go with with um ratchet straps which are much uh you know safer than this i feel like this becomes loose over time but then again i just don't like dealing with ratchet straps so i use also if you can see down here uh sandbags from getting stopping stuff from moving back and forth that's a good stopper oh and here this side if you can see this partition also i bought it from american van as well and i got it with the door because i found that sometimes i just want to get access to the back i don't want to open up the side doors or the back door i just want to come in through here and get some stuff and and come back out and it has a lock and so this is also for safety i don't want anything flying and hitting me in the back that could actually kill me so um sometimes if i'm going to really sketchy places i might put another chain with the lock in here just to make it just you know just make it harder for people to just get access to your stuff and, and that tends to happen quite a bit in the san francisco bay area so i'm just very careful where i'm going and just you know just do my best to keep my my stuff secure you never know as you can see there i put that rail on the window because i don't want anything hitting it and accidentally breaking the window uh one thing i, I might want to do in the future is putting like a metal a full metal in front of it and maybe hang some stuff from there uh i don't know like a work area or something just to the last thing i want to show you is just what's here in the back i have some frames uh like i think it's like 24 by 36 uh flag i use this for when i'm blocking out light during interviews if there's an overhead light and i can't turn them off this blocks out the light from bleeding into the person scrims uh bounce boards i got a chair a high chair uh it's much easier sometimes to raise someone than having to put apple boxes underneath the chair this saves me time uh, and also a, a little the stairs just for mostly for blocking out light I'm putting up frames or something like that or shears I have up there uh, I can do so quickly with uh, some stairs and that's pretty much it this is the whole van tour uh, it's taking me a long time to get to this point and you know if you are have any questions or you want to learn, learn more please ask away uh, I'll be happy to help and I just gotta say thanks to all those who share their band bills and inspired me and hopefully this inspires you. So uh, thanks again and I'll catch you in the next one.